Hey everyone, Seamus here, checking in from Brooklyn, New York. I, I am visiting the famed Decker mural that you, we've been hearing about on Twitter and all the Decker message boards on the internet. Uh, you can see it behind me. It is huge. It is a huge, very big, very big uh, mural. And as you can see, it's in a, it's in a very, it's in a populated area of Brooklyn. And I did make my own sign. It says. It's uh, Decker. It's season three. Sorry, Greg Heads. Um, Greg, of course, calling it season four, even though Decker vs. Dracula doesn't count as a season. So let's uh, get up, and I'll, I'll show you uh, some of the detail here. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself filming a video vlog in this trendy neighborhood of Brooklyn. People think I'm a crazy nut. Oh, that was a, that was a hog. Just a reference to Tim's uh, hog shots, with an, which never came to fruition. But, yep, you can see it's hand-painted. You can see the detail here. And I am actually touching this. Somebody actually... we get a good shot here. Somebody actually hand-painted this. And you can see the detail on Joe Estevez's face there. That's a courageous and noble man. And I just thought I'd film this video real quick just to show you that I did indeed visit and I am holding a sign that says season three, which uh, pretty much confirms that it is season three and not anything else. But I'm gonna make a quick next video just to tell you what I disagree with, what I think uh, Greg is right about and what I disagree with Greg about because I, I agree with Tim 100% of the time. I'm a Tim head and uh, look at I'm a Heidecker head, and you can see my head is right next to Tim Heidecker. But uh, I'm going to be making a video just describing some of the things that I uh, disagree with Greg about, because I do disagree with him quite a bit, even though I do respect him as a uh, movie critic. And sometimes his expertise is dead wrong. And uh, I'm just going to be... And he is definitely very disrespectful to Tim. So I'm going to be making a video about all about that, in case you want to check it out. And I think... Um, I'm going to get out of here now because it's very busy and I feel embarrassed to be standing out, outside in this trendy neighborhood of Brooklyn uh, where, where all the, it's a cultural capital of the world is what Brooklyn is and you can see these two guys, they just walk by me, they're making fun of me. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to end this video now, I'm going to be tweeting this out, Decker is back and I want everyone to tweet that right away because that's very important, Decker is back. Ignore Decker versus Dracula, that's trash. That's uh, complete garbage, it's a waste. Um, what they did to Tim was totally, totally out of line. And there's a lot of people walking around here, so I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna give you a few more beauty shots of this beautiful mural, and, uh, and then I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna um, go, to this, go over there to the skyline, just to get, just to get a good uh, background for my rant. <laughs> Uh, let me get you a few few more good shots of the mural, though, just to... Look at that. So there it is, there is the famed mural that everybody's talking about. It's a great achievement that Decker, even though it is a network show, it should be on a major network like Fox, like 24 was, but uh, Adult Swim is still good. It, Adult Swim is uh, where Tim got his start, Tim and Eric, with the awesome show. And uh, I love Adult Swim. They've done so much to support Tim and Tim and Eric's work through the years. Uh, they, they're the masters of alternative comedy, if you want to call it that. I just call it regular comedy. But it's great to see Tim uh, spreading, spreading his wings, so to speak, and going into action. And he's proven himself uh, time and time again that he's a great actor with a lot of depth, uh, like Johnny Depp. But basically, uh, the first Decker classified was a masterpiece. And then uh, Decker Port of Call kind of raised the bar. It was, um, it was uh, even better than a masterpiece, in my opinion. And then Decker vs. Dracula was complete shit. It was, a, it was an abomination. It was a slap in the face to everyone who's been supporting the series thus far. 
and uh, Greg should apologize to that and the fact that he's still trying to pass it off as an official season really makes me sick. It makes me sick to my stomach and I think he should be punished in some way, possibly uh, brought up for treason charges. And that got, and he, I, it's still unbelievable to me that he brought in Mark Proksh, or however, however you say his name. And, and what Mark did was basically uh, hijack the character of Decker. He, he impersonated Tim and did a bad, and did a horrible job at it. He uh, spit in the face of Tim, and he spit in the face of the fans who supported, who support Decker and Tim. So, that's what I wanted to get out real quick, but I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a more in-depth talk to you in just one moment. All right, everyone, we're back here. Um, just want to use this time to point out some of the things about Greg Turkington that really irks me that I think really need to be addressed because they're bringing down Tim and bringing down Tim's creative drive and they're making him less, success less successful and people are taking Tim less seriously because of the uh, bullshit that Greg spit spews out. Uh, where, do, where do I even start? I, even went, I just went over the fact that he ruined, De almost ruined Decker with Decker vs. Dracula and is now trying to pass off Decker vs. Dracula as an official season three and Decker Unclassified counts as season four. <laughs> Decker uh, Unclassified is season three. True deck heads know this. High Decker heads know this. That the only people who are denying this are Greg heads. And Greg he heads really make me sick. If you're a Greg he head and you're watching this, I want you to turn this video off now because this video is not for you. And if anyone, anyone, any Greg heads online on Twitter, I will immediately block them. I don't want to see that trash on my feed, on my comment section. Uh, I don't want I don't want those kind of thoughts. Uh, that's hate. That's even worse than hate speech, in my opinion, because at least, I mean, it's not worse than hate speech. But to me, it's hate speech because I love Decker so much and I love Tim Heidecker so much. And what he's saying is basically hate. It's hateful. So it, he's spreading hateful lies, is what I'm saying. He's he's saying all this trash. And you know what really pisses me off? The fact that when. Tim Heidecker first put forward the idea of Decker to uh, Greg Turkington. Uh, Tim revealed that he had shot a scene with Joe Estevez, and right off the bat, Kington didn't respect he well, Deck, uh, uh, Greg Turkington. He immediately wrote wrote off that idea. He basically kind of made fun of Tim and said that it would never be finished. Well, guess what? We're up to season three now. And it's funny to see that complete turnaround once Kington, once uh, Greg Turkington was tricked in that first Decker season, Decker Classified, he was tricked by Tim, and Tim re-edited the footage um, of him and put, put, made that character of Kington. That's when uh, Gre Greg, he saw how good the character was, and then he, then he embraced it. Then he's, he's all about Kington now, he won't shut up about it, he won't shut up about Kington who's a minor character who's in one scene and of course I know his his role in Decker uh, Port of Call Hawaii was much greater and I love that I love Port of Call Hawaii but the all he does is bitch about it the fact that Tim had to use his VHS collection that was one of the, that's one of the most powerful scenes in cinematic history who cares if your uh, VHS collection was sacrificed for that you can always go and get more VHS they sell VHS at the Goodwill store for 25 cents and they sell it at garage sales and uh, thrift stores and flea markets world nationwide you can go to any flea market and get a ton of VHS tapes and the fact that Greg is bitching and moaning about this really makes me sick to my stomach so after after Greg realized that Tim basically made a great character out of him and uh, took took this average interview and made this great performance out of it just out, out of the out of his uh, ability as an editor and as a filmmaker he knows exactly the kind of performance he wants out of his actors because he he has such a good idea of the character and the world that he's trying to develop and Greg he doesn't know that it whatsoever he doesn't realize that and it's so sad when I saw that Tim gave Greg way too much uh, way too much free reign in Decker versus Dracula he gave him way too much power Greg uh, wrote the thing he 
and he he wrote he wrote Decker versus Dracula, which he shouldn't have been given that task in the first place. Tim should have known he would have messed it up because he has no filmmaking experience. He has he, sure he passes himself off as a movie buff, but let me get let me uh, explain something to you. He doesn't know what he's talking about. All right, he says he says that first of all, uh, cartoons aren't a movie. Yeah, c Greg. Animation movies are some of the most well-respected movies out there. You've heard of Beauty and the Beast from 1990. I guess you didn't know that that was uh, nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards that year. So, are you saying that the Academy is wrong to have nominated this uh, cartoon movie as you derogatorily refer to them as? Yeah, I think they know a little bit more than you. Uh, you also said that documentaries don't count as movies. Um, well, the Academy Awards also have a, a category for Best Documentary. So why, why, do, why does that not count as a movie? You go to movie festivals worldwide, they always have a documentary section. That's because documentaries are movies. And the fact that you're trying to say, first of all, you're trying to pass yourself off as an expert in movies, and you say that a documentary and animated movies don't count as movies, that is ridiculous. And your uh, status as a film buff should be revoked. And <laughs> I'm not even gonna, gonna, gonna get into the fact that you claim to have an insider in the Academy. First of all, nobody in the Academy would ever talk to you because you're disrespectful to the art of cinema. Second of all, you've been dead wrong every single time. I remember you. I tweeted you a little bit before the Oscar special earlier this year, and I said, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio will definitely be winning for The Revenant. Wouldn't you agree? And you said, no, you, you would have to be... You, re, you retweeted that tweet that I sent, and you mocked me saying that I didn't know what I was talking about, that, um, that he would not win. Well, guess what? He did win. Leonardo DiCaprio did win the Academy Award. So I don't know where you get off say, mocking me online, saying all these mean things. And you know what? Everyone knew that he was going to win. Everyone knew that Leonardo DiCaprio gave the greatest performance of the year. So why wouldn't he win? He's one of the greatest actors of all time. He's a, a legend, a living legend. Why wouldn't the Academy honor him with giving him the best actor? They, uh, they wouldn't dishonor him like that, and they didn't. So the fact that you claim to be a film buff and you didn't know that, that just kind of disgusts me and makes me think that you are a poser. You're posing as a film buff when really you don't know what you're talking about. And also the fact that last season on On Cinema when you reviewed Bridge of Spies, Tim, Hyde, Tim had enough respect for Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg, the, the greatest filmmaker and greatest actor of our, our time, our generation, Tom Hanks even better than Leonardo DiCaprio. The fact that you didn't, that Tim stood up out of respect, but you, you just sat down on your butt. And that, that struck me as, a, as a disgustingly disrespectful to Steven Spielberg, to Tom Hanks, and to the audience watching at home, including me. So you need to apologize, first of all, to Steven Spielberg, who was nice enough to um, answer my Twitter question. I sent him a question over Twitter um, for Ask the BFG, and he did respond. He did, uh, he did answer my tweet, so I am very thrilled about that, and I respect Steven Spielberg immensely, which is why I'm calling you out for not respecting him. And I could go on and on. Don't you just want to stand back and enjoy that view, though? New York City. How many great movies have been made in New York City? Um, Ghostbusters, off the top of my head, and many, many more. Uh, Man, it's Manhattan that you're seeing back there, and there's also a movie called Manhattan that won the Academy Award for Best Picture in 1977. So, this was a great day. I visited the Decker mural and saw um, Tim Heidecker's big face on the street and I know that nationwide there will be more more after season four and season five coming up. There are going to be, these murals are going to be everywhere. But I just wanted to see this one because this is one of the first. And this is going to go down in history, I think, as just an, an original location of the Decker mural. And I want you all to like this video and retweet that and also go on Twitter and see the picture I posted. Um, if you're, if uh, you still think that uh, Decker Unclassified counts as season four, then what I want you to do is uh, unfollow me, I want you to block me, or I'll block you first. Because I don't want that point of view anywhere near me. I disagree with it, and I think that anyone who does think that this is season four needs to, be needs to um, have their account blocked. Um, I'm talking about their cable account. Block Adult Swim so they can't see it. And 
that, I'm not going to advocate violence. I'm not going to advocate anything like that. But what, what you're going to need to do is block me because if I see you, I'm going to block you first. And I'm going to leave a derogatory comment on you because you deserve that. Because you are disrespecting me, first of all. You're disrespecting Tim. And every time I see someone post season four, I just want to smack them because it's not season four, it's season three. So I'm going to leave you there. Um, I think I've gone on enough. I think, uh, But the amount of things that Greg Turkington has done that deserve the ire of fans worldwide is just stunning. I, I could write a 100-page uh, essay on all the things that he's done wrong, all the ways that he's disrespected Tim and ru almost ruined the Decker franchise with that piece of trash, Decker vs. Dracula. And I'm glad that Tim pulled the plug on that before it got wild, before it got crazy, before Decker was ruined forever. And it, luckily, it's, he got to it quick. He pulled it off, off of YouTube, which I support 100%. Uh, because it was a, it was a, the Kington show. Kington made De Greg made his character Kington, the star of the show, and that's that. It's called Decker versus Dracula, not Kington versus Dracula. So I don't know where he gets off um, doing that sort of crap. Like fans are just going to accept that because they're not going to accept that. People like me are going to stand up for what's right, and I'm not. You won't silence me. I won't be silenced about this. And this is this uh, Decker versus Dracula. Thank God it's been erased from the Decker canon forever because it's trash and it brought the whole series down. So what you're gonna wanna do is uh, watch watch season three of Decker, which is coming out June 17th, and I'm gonna leave you there. That's all you need to know. And if I see anyone tweeting me uh, season four, this that Decker Unclassified is season four, then I'm gonna block you and report you to Twitter. All right, so I I'm gonna leave you there. Seamus checking out, and I'm gonna leave you with this beautiful view.